Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another anime review here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. It is AVR, not AVR squared, because the, the second R in AVR squared is for reactions. This is uh, Anime Versal Reviews. Is, uh, this is Anime Versal Reviews, not Anime Versal Reviews is reactions. I'm Kyle, my wife, Christine, our husband, O'Brien. Uh, last review we did, we did a live stream review for AVR. We did our free run season one review. You guys can check that out. It's up right there. Other uh, live streams, Brian and I will be doing a trivia night, movie trivia night on the 23rd-ish. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, lots of game streams. There's uh, anime reactions, podcasts covering anything and everything you can imagine in uh, geek pop culture entertainment. All of our podcasts, basically anything that doesn't require you to actually see to understand what's going on, uh, go up on your favorite podcast apps as well as the website lrmonline.com where you can also go for celebrity interviews from LRM YouTube channel and all sorts of written uh, entertainment news and reviews uh merch we do have merch link in the description box below husband o'brien has a youtube channel pulp mythos also linked down below we're here to review spy family code white a uh fun movie uh basically for the most part like a really long episode of spy family or an arc if you if you will of of spy family um and in which case the family on on vacation to uh uh learn how to make a dessert so Anya can earn a Stella. Um, things go awry. She eats a chocolate that's got some spy photos in it, and uh, all heck breaks loose. All hell breaks loose. So we'll we'll run with that as as kind of the general synopsis. We'll do this mostly spoiler free. If we need to mention spoilers, they'll be towards the uh, towards the end. Uh, but yeah, why don't we go around and talk about our our general thoughts about it? Starting with Christine. Me first. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm just having allergy issues today. Uh, so it's like I'm trying my hardest not to sneeze at you guys. That's comedy. Uh, <laughs> no, it sounds painful, especially if you have earbuds. So I, I do apologize if that does happen. Um, I loved it. It was it was so cute. And, you know, of course, like, um, and you had mentioned it, where it's like it, it started off kind of slow um, I didn't really feel that until you had said something like, well, yeah, I guess that's kind of true. The um, recap, it's like, we know it already. Yeah, but like the the people who are just tuning yeah. in, like just in case, are like, well, let me just do this. Could have been you, you know those people. Um, they just want to jump in and, and just uh, get right to it. Um, so it was, it was kind of important. And if you forgot, you eventually get into a lot of action and a lot of comedy. And it's just... <laughs> A lot of comedy. A lot of surprising <laughs> comedy. I wasn't expecting them to go where they did. Richard, is there something you want to say? You look like you want to get something out, son. Uh. Oh my God! Yeah. Um, on an uh, ABC scale, what would you uh, what would you grade the movie? An A. Okay. I'd give it an A. Um, I don't really have a lot of complaints. One, it's just kind of like, eh, it, it kind of, by now, your should have an eyebrow raised. <laughs> and it is still down. And I don't know why, but it's kind of <laughs> like, how, how are you this naive? How are you this untrusting yet trusting? So it was like the only thing that I could really think of. Mm. And of course, like putting in her brother, where it's just kind of like, I mean, you got to throw them in there, but it just kind of, I could have gone without and it'd be totally fine. Like, yeah, it's just kind of. I was like, happy with how little they used it. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, that, was that like... is very important. But to me, it's just like you, they just wanted to show you is all, you know, it's just, don't, don't forget about this guy kind of feeling. Um, so, yeah. I like the guys thing. holding him down. That was, that was a good time. Yeah, that was yeah. fun. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Brian, your, your thoughts and great, man. <laughs> Um, I, you know, it felt like, like you said, it almost like a three episode arc. I mean, that, that was basically what it felt like. Um, I didn't mind the recap. It was done quickly. Um, I'm just an impatient asshole. I, well, I've yes. seen a lot of films do way worse or yeah. spend way too much time. So I, I, I didn't hate that. The basic premise was great. The third act was amazing. Tons of action. I, this, this would be 
for me as a, a B plus. If you're a fan of the series, absolutely, it's one of those things yeah worth checking out. Um, if you haven't seen the series, you could watch this. I'll give you know I'll say that, but it, you know it it did sort of outside of a couple of very creative sequences. Um, it just yeah it felt like a long you know episode or or an arc. I, I'll say two things. Um, the if you grew up in the '90s, the show Tailspin. There's an entire mm. sequence and uh, RoboCop, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> We'll we'll talk a little bit about spoilers. It'll be marked uh, uh, in the in the chapters timestamps down below. Uh, I'm with Brian on the B plus. I did find the recap to be a little slow. I figured it could have been uh, snappier. I do ad admit that. Yeah, sure, it's important to have, especially if you want a movie that could relatively be used um, as a jumping on point. You know, so I like I like that. Uh, but like I said, it could have been snappier to me. Little things here and there. Um, some choppiness with some of the stuff with, uh, um, trying to fit in everyone. Like I said, it's nice. Everyone got him, uh, got a, a, a moment, uh, but it is kind of jarring sometimes depending on where, where the cuts were. Um, so just little things. And then I don't know. It just, I found it really, really adorable. I found a lot of the animation to be, you know what? I'll actually go with a minus. I've, I've talked myself up a little bit. I was like, I, I thought my complaints were a little bit more, but when I'm, I'm, when I'm looking at it, it really is just some editing, some time issues. And then like, uh, minor, minor things. I mean, spy family, people love to go and point out, uh, uh, CGI. And I'll, I'll mention usually when CGI is rough, spy family is one of those that for the most part, they use their CGI well, and they animate really well around it. Even when they're they're using it for, say, special swooping actions, your you know yours fight, for example. There's a lot of CGI background and movement and stuff, but you she looks really good animated against it still. Mm -hmm. uh, but there were a few moments where it was a little like too much and and uh, borderline on that. Uh, early uh, near automata episode but just for a moment and only because of the way things are are moving so yeah i think i'll go with an a a minus i really in, enjoyed it christine and i are both real big suckers brian as well for this for this uh, uh series um the adorable family moments all of it combined yeah teetering on that b plus but i i can go with a a minus so yeah let's talk a little bit we mentioned enough about story and 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 characters in general, was there any story or character moments you wanted to bring up specifically, Brian? I don't. Uh, I, I always find it fascinating with this show. One of my big complaints in anime in general is little kids being annoying mm. <laughs> in a lot of anime, and it's this show blows me away of how much I enjoy Anya, and like she's just well done. She's not annoying. She's just the right amount of being a kid, but then. The comedy is very well balanced and this whole movie did that well there's so many scenes there's one early on i just just when they go into the credit sequence and it's her mm. trying to pack her bag and it's just a bunch <laughs> of crap that you know you're going on this two-day journey and it's mm -hmm. like you don't need any of this and you he's like no that. and she's like none of there's no speaking it's all just done in the animation and I, to me that was like a perfect setup for who that character is Yes. Um, so there's a lot of little things like that. And of course, like we said, there's a lot of spoiler stuff towards the end that's just brilliant mm -hmm. uh, as far as the comedy. But it's also real quick the show or the, well, the series, they'll do things where you'll have something that's super sweet and co comic, you know, related. And then you'll go into something that's super dark and yeah. twisted. And you're like, oh my God. And, and it does a pretty good job of balancing that as well. Yeah, there is a threat to Operation Strix um, and the family as part of the, the story for this. And we all know if you've watched the series, if Operation Strix ends, then this, you know, family no longer has a reason to to exist. And, and everyone, of course, heart goes out to the orphan Anya. And I thought that was a really nice um, way to tie uh, the story together and have this not just a threat against, you know, east west uh peace but a threat to what we love about the series which is the the the, the uh what does she call them the holders yeah, yeah. the holders <laughs> the the forgers family so we i i really enjoyed that aspect of it babe any particular story or character moments you wanted to mention 
just a, a little bit off of what Brian had said about, you know, Anya and her little kid moments where they're showing kid quirks, but it's not annoying you. Mm-hmm. Like when they were doing like the travel montage mm-hmm. and she's trying to study and, and you're seeing her being frustrated and, you know, who, who likes studying anyway, you know, when you're young and... It's just, it kind of felt like, I wish traveling with my kid was that easy at that age. But, you know, most kids, that's not the case. Um, So it was just, it was fun. Even like moments like that, or like when they actually get to their um, location and and the stuff that they do there, where it it just didn't bore me. And I loved their little family moments. Mm -hmm. Um, Because sometimes that does happen where like, you know, you've got like your high action parts you know in a in a ma- in a movie like this and then you've got like your lower parts like those didn't bug me just you know spending that time in the the lower action yeah scenes yeah so liked it a lot we mentioned a little bit about uh art um and an- animation um just a bit ago talking about cgi um brian missed out on doing reactions but last season season two uh the second core they have this whole arc on a boat and one of the best animated fights I've I've seen. Not necessarily the highest technical, but just everything about it looked so good. Yor was done so so well. Her partner in that fight is is hilarious. The <laughs> I like it when the bad guys just keep coming one after another, almost mm-hmm. like in a in a line. This had a lot of 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 similar moments. However, that was a really long arc, and I think part of why I I might. Um, have judged the movie when I was like, you know, B plus at first, maybe a a minus and, and kind of lean there. Um, that arc really showed me what, you know, spy family can do as a, as a series with animation and everything there on the, on the boat. Um, but I, I loved it in this. They, they do so many great things. It looks so good. Uh, food looks good. <laughs> Backgrounds look good. Christine's like every imaginary, uh, place that they're showing here, which, based off of real things I'm sure and reference images oh it's so pretty it's like I know right you can't visit it it doesn't exist well I mean you technically could visit it I don't know if it would just be perfect enough but yeah just go to Austria yeah. it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah uh, what was your question I'm sorry just anything else you wanted to say about art animation mm, no it was very pretty yeah Brian it was on par with the show and the show's top not you know top quality and yeah it was it was animation was good all right well let's get into uh spoiler territory guys so we're going to talk about anything and everything that we want now uh including what what toki wartooth has to do and metalocalypse has to do with spy family and uh uh what brian had uh had mentioned um so yeah brian you you mentioned uh a couple things including uh tailspin and robocop why don't you start us off with uh some of your favorite Uh, easter eggs and spoiler moments yeah tailspin i mean I don't know if it was un- intentional, but it was straight tailspin. The the plane shape, the you know the um, zeppelin type mm-hmm. thing in the snowy region, like everything. I'm like this is tailspin, and there <laughs> and there's this you know, the flying and everything. And so I'm like looking. I, I even went as far as to go and look up some old tailspin stuff. I'm like, why? So I don't know if that was intentional, if there you know, but it, it, there's a really cool action sequence with that, and then the RoboCop thing. Yeah, it's straight up your fights robocop um, <laughs> and the final you know battle um yeah very well done there was a little bit of a uh, winter soldierness with him as well mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That while uh, we were the it. darkened eyes at one point he has a mask with goggles um uh you know it's this uh, indestructible metal arm <laughs> it was funny uh when you first see him you can see just he's a machine gun underneath his cloak and lucas was like who's that i was like i don't know some guy with a machine gun arm and he's like like barrett and i was like yes yes <laughs> damn right like barrett that's my boy <laughs> not just like that guy from the game you played no but by name yes very proud, proud moment <laughs> Yeah. Um, I dug I dug that fight. I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, one of the things that I, I noted, there's the, the whole poop sequence. Like, <laughs> I know some people might be put off by that sequence, but the first thing that popped in my mind was Toki Wartooth and his hamburger time and uh, underwater friend scenes from, from Metalocalypse. Um, h- 
hilarious. That's that's what I was thinking the whole time. I thought it was funny. Uh, uncomfortably funny in a good way. What what did you think about that scene, Brian? Oh, it was I loved it. There were, there was when it started cuz you had texted me but I wasn't sure what the, you were referencing <laughs> and then I was like and then once it kicked in I was like, "Oh, I got okay." Oh, <laughs> I, I love the way they animated it. It you know, it was played obviously heavily for comedy but yet again that goes back to what i said earlier where the show will do ha funny funny serious yeah mm-hmm. and that was one of those sequences where yes there's tons of comedy to it from the beginning to the crazy you know trippy sequence all the- <laughs> that sequence is so good <laughs> <laughs> but then you get to the point God. where you know the, the bad you know the antagonist is just like well you know kill her cut her open and cut her open and, yeah. and they don't play it they play it straight like yeah this is what we're gonna do and it's like oh and the guy with his staff with little poop on it and everything the, I mean, the whole thing yeah. like, mm-hmm. the peeing statues the, I mean, dude toilet every all of it babe i i thought it was just so funny that i could just be so on the edge of my seat over feces you know it's just like <laughs> I felt so bad for her. It's like, oh my god, she's starting to turn colors. <laughs> and then, like, yeah, it was just, it was so much fun. But yeah, like you guys mentioning, um, or they're like, yeah, cut her open. You know, it had kind of like that older, um, like family friendly movies where mm-hmm. it's like there's still seriousness in it with that kind of like, cause it, like you just said it, and I thought Home Alone. Yeah. Where it's like there's still that danger there, but you're still there for it. You're still, mm. you know. You, you still you know what's gonna happen you you know you're gonna be still uh, excited and um yeah I kind of lost my point I'm sorry that's all right it happens <laughs> <laughs> look it happens a lot to this one um I meant to have that picture up more oh but yeah I didn't okay. I kept hitting the base button instead of the review button so sorry about that um yeah no I like Brian always points out something about uh home alone and that's uh Harry and Marv would kill Kevin, yes. if they could, yeah. there's no doubt about it. It's hilarious. It's all fun and lighthearted, but you know damn well if they got their hands on them, they'd, they'd freaking kill them. I mean, they try. They legit try to shoot them. Mm-hmm. Um, in in the second one for sure. Uh, so I I like that aspect of it. Like I said, there was a there was a real good threat. You're like, man, the, the if if the family doesn't come together on this, we've we've got issues, you know. Um, and it's fun to see. It's fun to see Lloyd and your uh, process, how much they want what they have, but still not be able to come out and say, hey, you know this thing that we've been pretending about, why don't we try not pretending so much? You know, why don't we go out on a romantic date? I actually do like you and um, you can, I'm, I'm wondering if that ever does happen you know if this uh ever if this ever stops being a sitcom if if you will Mm -hmm. where there's almost a reset no matter what there's going to be a reset no one's going to know about the other people's powers and and positions and and whatnot and honestly it could go either way for me i would be happy to see them you know towards the end of the story if if there is an ending come come out come clean build a a a, a real family unit um uh and i mean they are a real family in as much as that they care and, and stuff about each other but a a one where they are not pretending to pretend yeah that makes lloyd sense. is still yeah. kind of like one foot out the door oh yeah which honestly doesn't make sense to me because it's like if you're ever going to need another family for a mission you've already got one established yeah. so i would hold on to it for that where it's like you know technically we shouldn't just you know, break this apart, you know, if, if this doesn't work out, we, we have something set up, Yeah. but you know, it's, I, I think he might have, I think he might think he has one foot out the door, but I think yeah. it, it might just barely be on the threshold. So yeah, <laughs> they're, they're definitely into each other. Um, any other spoilers or moments you guys wanted to discuss? What'd y'all think of the, um, infidelity subplot? funny in a way uh because 
multiple of those things I do regularly. I uh, I give Christine gifts all the time, like just randomly, whether it's like some sort of, of chocolate. She used to get these uh, socks until I pretty much bought them all Yeah, <laughs> from Target that had these just real funny things like cats drinking coffee or a cactus eating eggs and bacon or something, you know, just wacky socks, right? Um and what was the other other one? Uh, changing clothes? No, clothes. I don't really change clothes. But I have had to start doing more trips, <laughs> business trips, all of a sudden with you know the the channel and the and the website. So we had a good laugh about that. Um, but it's at the same time it, it goes back to what I was saying about you know they they all obviously want more of this this unit. Obviously she does too. She wants you know more of his unit. No, I'm uh and I I like that that played into that aspect of it. What were your your thoughts on it, Christine? Um I thought, you know, it is realistic that, you know, like your your friends or your coworkers can get into your head. Um it was just a little bit of a stretch after like out of the three named, you know, two were crossed out. So then when it got to yeah. that third one, it's like no, it's not got all three. You need to, yeah. you know, replay you know like you know go watch the um the replay yeah. <laughs> i don't know yeah but yeah um so it was just kind of like you know it's it was a little bit of a stretch at the end but i mean it is very much possible where it's like someone says anything like that you're like oh maybe he is cheating yeah you know so it was just yeah. mostly what, plausible what about you brian uh, the first part of it, as it was going, I, I just sort of was like, "Yeah, it was very sitcommy." Mm. And then, um, but the the payoff with the wine and the Ferris wheel and mm. everything, I liked. <laughs> so I was like, "Okay." It, and and like you said, it and, and they dropped it pretty much after that sequence, but it it reinforced the idea that they want there to be a relationship mm. of some kind. So it it worked out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an adorable movie, guys. You you should definitely check it out. Uh, hitting uh, theaters here in the U.S. I believe April nineteenth. Uh, so do do check it out. Um, yeah, that's 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 it. I don't think I have any other words for it. Uh, you guys should totally check out more content here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe for anime reactions, trailer reactions, game streams, trivia streams, reviews, all sorts of podcasts. It's a really cool channel. I am a big fan. All of the podcasts go up on your favorite podcast app. If you are listening to us on that app right now, please do give us a follow. Really help us out if you leave a review for the channel as well. LRM, uh, LRMonline.com for all entertainment news. Celebrity interviews, our podcasts go up there as well. And if you've ever thought about writing entertainment-related stuff, drop me a line. Kyle M at LRMonline.com. We'll see what we can do. Um, and, of course, Genreverse merch available. Linked down below. Brian, say something about your channel. Old Mythos. Check it out. All right, guys. It's been a lot of fun. We'll see you on the uh, next one. Bye. Bye.